So I guess you already know what happened next. How I came to England, hopeful, summoned after the king saw my portrait, and how I, with my meager looks the way they are, didn't live up to his expectations. I mean, it's the usual story, isn't it? The savvy, educated, young princess deemed repulsive by a wheezing, wrinkled, ulcer-riddled man 24 years her senior. Rejection. Rejection from a king. I mean, how could anyone overcome a fate as devastating as being forced to move into a resplendent palace in Richmond with more money than I could spend in a lifetime and not a single man around to tell me what to do with it? I mean, seriously, it's just, it's, it's tragic.